Back to reality. I love that show. It's very hip to be on the show. Best show since no other show. Happy Tuesday. I love you guys. You are hilarious. It's Tuesday. It's only Tuesday. I absolutely love you. You're thoroughly entertaining. I'm very excited. It's Tuesday. Now the Tuesday. Come on. It's showtime. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Deadpool is the number one movie for the third straight week. Meanwhile, Gods of Egypt was second, Eddie the Eagle came in fifth with just 6.3 million, and Triple Nine was sixth. Yoko Ono was hospitalized with what is being described as serious flu, which doesn't sound like a joking matter. She was taken to Mount Sinai West in New York City on Friday. It used to be called Roosevelt Hospital, and it's the same place that John Lennon died at in 1980. Yoko is 83, but apparently she's going to be just fine. Sean Lennon tweeted, quote, It was not a stroke, just dehydration slash tired. She's fine. Only stroke Yoko had was a stroke of genius. Get well soon, Ms. Ono. Now this whole thing is starting to get surreal. Former Ku Klux Klan leader David Duke has endorsed Donald Trump, and the media has been asking Trump to disavow the endorsement. Trump was on State of the Union yesterday, and Jake Tapper asked him three times in a row to condemn Duke, the KKK, and all other white supremacists. And Trump refused to do it three times in a row. Will you unequivocally condemn David Duke and say that you don't want his vote or that of other white supremacists in this election? Well, just so you understand, I don't know anything about David Duke, okay? I don't know anything about what you're even talking about with uh, white supremacy or white supremacists. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Did, did he endorse me or what's going on? Because, you know, I know nothing about David Duke. I know nothing about white supremacists. And so you're asking me a question that I'm supposed to be talking about people that I know nothing about. But the, I guess the question from the, from the Anti-Defamation League is, even if you don't know about their endorsement, there are these groups and individuals endorsing you. Would you just say unequivocally you condemn them and you don't want their support? Well, I have to look at the group. I mean, I don't know what group you're talking about. You wouldn't want me to condemn a group that I know nothing about. I'd have to look. If you would send me a list of the groups, I will do research on them. And certainly I would disavow if I thought there was something wrong. The but you Ku may Klux have Klan? groups in there that are totally fine and it would be very unfair. So give me a list of the groups and I'll let you know. Okay. I mean, I'm just talking about David Duke and the Ku Klux Klan here, but... I don't know. Any, honestly, I don't know David Duke. I don't believe I've ever met him. I'm pretty sure I didn't meet him, and I just don't know anything about him. Today is Super Tuesday, but most Americans don't really care about it because it doesn't have taco in the title. After fracturing her knee on Saturday, Lindsey Vaughn came back Sunday to ski and extend her lead in World Cup points. So, fellas, along with Rhonda Rousey, that makes two women in the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition who can kick our asses. Fuller House premiered on Netflix Friday and, and Hillary Clinton won the South Carolina primary. So, big weekend for 1990s relics inexplicably back in the public eye. J.J. Abrams says there will be gay characters in Star Wars. So what the hell were C-3PO and R2-D2 then? North Korea claimed that its new anti-tank weapon can turn an enemy tank into a boiled pumpkin. Trash talk always loses something in the translation. Some company has invented self-driving baby strollers. Yeah, you know, it's perfect for parents that want to take their babies for walks without the nuisance of keeping them safe. Scientists report that wild gorillas sing and hum while they eat. That's because no one has had the nerve to tell them to knock it off. Vermont's Middlebury College has banned the sale of energy drinks. That's bad news for the kids, great news for the campus Starbucks. Time for Nobody Gives a F***. Elton John mocked Janet Jackson for lip syncing. Come on, guys, leave the petty sniping to kids and Republican presidential candidates. Hey, Reggie, nobody gives a f In what is my opinion the stupidest and whitest thing two women could do, Kylie Minogue is mounting a legal battle in a bid to stop Kylie Jenner from claiming ownership of the name Kylie. Hey, idiots named Kylie, nobody gives a f 
And divorce rumors continue between Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. Hey, Kardashian, nobody gives a f***. Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. The Jewel Radio Network is proud to present Frank D'Angelo and his 15-piece band Spring Concert Tour. Friday, March 11th at the Rose Theater, Brampton. Saturday, March 26th at Spatz Theater, Halifax. Thursday, March 31st at Violet's Venue in Barrie. Friday, April 15th at Aeolian Concert Hall, London. Saturday, April 16th at Seneca Queen Theater, Niagara Falls. Saturday, May 21st at Algonquin Theater, Huntsville. And Friday, May 27th at the Capitol Theater, Moncton. For tickets, go to frankdangelo.ca.